Now I'm going to be showing you how to create some distant trees. What makes them distant is uh, to make them a lighter shade of color, so closer to the sky color. You can add a little green if you want to, but it needs to be very soft and subtle. Uh, the darker the color, the more closer it looks or appears to you. I'm using a one inch brush and I've just loaded into some uh, blue and black and a little white and that's what I used for the sky here and I've added some clouds for some contrast. I'm holding my bristle flat and I'm tilting it a little bit to the side and I'm just going to start tapping with the front half of my brush, tapping very lightly and I'm moving my arm up and down as I go making different heights of trees. Let me get in a little bit more paint. I may darken a little bit so that you can see it better. There we go, now you can see it. You would want to go a little bit lighter than what I've done, so you'd want to add a little bit more white. As long as you're moving your arm left to right, you automatically will have uneven shaped trees. And I'm just tapping on the canvas. I am going a little bit higher, which is making my color lighter. Because there's so many different trees out there, you can't do anything wrong with this. It's very easy to make realistic looking ones. Again, these are the illusion of distant trees. And I'll show you as I add a little bit more of the darker colors to my brush, no white. If I come down from what I've where I've started, if I start adding another row. You see how it's a darker shade, so it looks like it's closer to you. I can go over it because this, uh, these are oils, I can go over it more and more to soften it and eventually keeps mixing with the underpainting color and gets lighter and lighter. I can put in another happy tree that lives here. I usually think of one tree at a time. It just makes it easier for me. Maybe there's another one here. So by adding more paint to my brush, a darker value, so I'm not mixing any white or adding any white to my color, the ones that I did first look further away from my second row. I'll do one more row, more paint. Again, I'm only using the front half of this brush. If I use the full width, then I get square treetops. See how I'm going over it several times to tone the color down. Get a little bit more paint. There we go. Now you can see how what happens when you have more fun loading your brush with paint. So there's three rows. This is the lightest, then a medium shade, and of course here's the darker shade that looks like it's towards you.